Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up these Apple AirPods. Now I have two different ones. The first one doesn't have wireless charging. This one has a wireless charging case. So I'm gonna unbox this one and show you how to set it up for the very first time. They are my favorite headphones of all time. I've tried a ton of different headphones over the past 10 years, but these are really special. Especially when you're working out, they just don't fall out of your ear. As you can see, I'm wearing them. And here's the case. It's so simple, it charges. The case is actually the charger. So you just take them out and you put them inside the case. They click on, they close. The one I have here has wireless charging, so I'll show you how to set that up. This one doesn't, so this one you'll have to plug in. Same charger that your iPhone would have, for example. The way they connect to your iPhone via Bluetooth is very great and easy. And the way they're, they just connect it right now, actually. And as soon as you plug them into your ear, they connect. I'll show you how to set up this one for this video. The other one's already set up. I'll show you how to connect it to your phone, how to get started with it, how to charge it, and what to do if you lose it. Let's jump in. The AirPods come with a left and right headphone and there's a little L and a little R on each one so you don't get them confused. And then they go in the case the same way. The left goes on the left side of the case, the right goes on the right side, and the case is a charging case. So I'm gonna show you my favorite wireless charger. It does not come with a wireless charger, but it does come with a cord so you could always plug it in just like the way you would charge your phone. You could charge the case the same way. The case then charges the actual headphones, the two little headphones that come in the case. We're gonna set up our AirPods in three different easy steps. The first one is turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. So take out your phone, go to the command center and turn on Bluetooth. You just gotta make sure it's on. If you don't have an iPhone, I'll show you how to do this in a second. Step two, hold your case next to your phone and just simply open the case. It will automatically get recognized by your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad and you just have to press connect. That's it. You just press done and you are connected. If you don't have an iOS device, you just have to press and hold the button on the back of your case and then the Bluetooth on your device should recognize it as your AirPod. And let me show you under the Bluetooth menu of your phone. So if you go to settings and Bluetooth, you could see your AirPods right here. So I have two different ones connected. As you could see, you can't at the time connect two at the same time, but it will disconnect to one and then reconnect to the other one. And just as the moment I do open the case, it does connect automatically. You don't have to do anything. Even when I jump between the two, even with different devices, it will turn off one device and connect to another. I do this between my iPhone and iPad all the time. And the third step is simply by putting your headphones in your ear and start listening. And if you have the one with the wireless charging case, this is my favorite wireless charger. It works every time you just put the case on it and it will simply charge the case for you and the case itself will charge your headphones. I'll put a link to my favorite wireless charging device right here in the description. So let's look at some useful settings inside of the settings menu of your phone. So here I'm gonna go to the settings menu. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth and this is the same place we use to connect our AirPod but I'm gonna go to the I next to my ear pod on the second one that I just connected. And now I'm gonna open my case so it's gonna get recognized here by my phone. And let's look at some of these options. You could always disconnect or forget this device so you could use a different device to connect to it if you need to. It does connect to multiple devices that you own, but if you wanted to lend it to someone else, for example. Automatic ear detection is on, so make sure that's turned on. This is when you put the headphone right in your ear, it will recognize it. It's very, very useful. Microphones on automatic, but you could always change that. But what's useful is the double tap option. You could actually double tap the physical ear pod and change some of these from doing different things. So if you use it for music, so play, track, next, right and left do different things with the double tap, you could always rename it here. So this menu is super important. It's under Bluetooth and by pressing I when your device is connected. If you close the case on the device, it will disappear. So you'll have to open the case again to connect to it and do all those changes here. So that is super useful. To see the battery life, that's the next thing I wanted to show you. Check this out. Obviously, when you open the device, this will pop up and show you the battery life, but let me show you a different way to do that. Go left here, 
and you see this battery settings option I have that shows all the different devices I have so as you can see my ear pods have a hundred percent life and the case has a sixty percent life and the case is charging the pods so to add that go ahead and press edit right there on your widgets tab and you could add the battery option from the selection underneath so I just press the plus on the battery option and I could go ahead and move it all the way to the top for example if I wanted to but I have it right in the middle of the page but you should see it here and pressing a plus sign will bring it here so now every time you scroll left you will see this section just like that where it shows all your devices and the battery life for each one and if they're charging my iPhone is charging and my ear pods number two the wireless one is charging right now and lastly if you do lose your AirPods under the find my iPhone app which you should definitely download you'll find your airpods it's connected the same exact way as all your other devices so my watch my iMac my phone and if you tap it it will actually go ahead and search it and find it for you and those are all the settings I wanted to show you for this basic overview video just make sure you subscribe and I'll create much more in-depth videos on the earpods and when the next ones come out I'll make tutorials as well and I have ton of tutorials on Apple products social media and tech so please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching